Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. Our top story this evening, Florida will enforce harsher penalties on animal abusers and increase penalties for people imposing danger on airport properties. Those are just two of the 21 new laws going to in, into effect tomorrow. As ABC 7's Erica Jackson shows us tonight, one of those measures will make it easier for our first responders to get the help they need. In our most vulnerable moments, we look to our first responders to keep us safe. When people are running out of a bad situation, we depend on them to run into that bad situation. But even after they return to their post, some first responders hold on to emotional trauma for years. If somebody's you know, feeling suicidal, how can they be effective on the job? One third of Mary Moonen's clients are first responders, some dealing with PTSD. But starting Monday, some of those patients will be eligible for workers' compensation insurance benefits. When somebody can't bring home their income and the families are already affected by their loved one's PTSD, the stressors pile up. The new law covers firefighters, police officers, paramedics, EMTs, but some believe it's leaving out one important group. 911 dispatchers. They're getting these calls, but they never know the end of the story, so they don't get any resolution to really know if their interventions were helpful. But the law only covers first responders who have witnessed the death of a minor or a death involving serious bodily harm. Attorney Sarah Blackwell says first responders see a lot more trauma in the line of duty, which could trigger PTSD. It should be um, broader and include more than just something related to a death of a child or a death that's egregious. Now first responders will have better access to training on PTSD and can help reduce stress building up throughout their career. The fact that they can actually get help gives me a lot of relief. Reporting in Sarasota County, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.